Mark's uh, trains and sets. This one here really should have been in the first video, but there wasn't enough space. This is a Clockwork 666. It's made from a 999 shell, uh, and it's an early shell that has the open spoke pilot. Um, probably made right at uh, right before everything shut down for wartime production. It's only a handful were ever made. Really don't have any information as to what cars would have been with a set, so it gets whatever I stick behind it. This unbelievably clean little set is from around 1947 to 52. It's powered by a 833. This was a one-piece sheet metal stamp locomotive. They're not very realistic looking. Don't have a lot of deal, detail on them, but they were cheap. But uh, for something about 60 years old, this one is really, really clean. Put in the in the marks. This one's a wind-up, and I don't care if it's a wind-up or electric, but it only came as a wind-up. But this blue out Mercury outfit is just a really pretty outfit. Typical of Marks, the uh, various pieces came, just got assembled, came out of different die lots and so on. You notice the really odd colored frame on the, on the observation car. This particular setup happens to be fairly well matched in reality. Um, most times there were just a number of strange combinations of blue that would show up in a set. And this set was made from 1950 to 52, and this has the whistling motor. The thing about this tender is the blue rivet detail. It's very hard to see which also is extremely rare so there's no real data that I've been able to find that so far anyway that has pinned down the exact time frame that this uh, set would have been made but it was would have been right in the 1950 time frame it's an unusual outfit in that it had uh, streamlined M 10,005 diesel locomotives hooked together with a little thing they call a dog bone. Let me uncouple one of these and let it stick out so you can see, give an idea what hooks it up to it. Now I'm not really doing streamliners and articulateds, but in this case, because it is pulling a freight set, we'll uh, show you the set. This would have been from 1951, 1953 time frame. Another unusual feature about it is the color of the frame on the caboose. Only this set with the uh, M10005 had the brown frame. This is a very common caboose, but it would normally have a black frame. This is set number 516, would have been about 1953. Uh, it's unusual in that it has a little 198 locomotive. They're not rare, but they don't show up a, real often. Um, the part that makes it more unusual is the blue gondola. This blue seaboard gondola. They came normally, red would be real common, and then your next most common color would be brown. And then in the blue one is relatively hard to find, but that's the way this outfit came. Very attractive wind-up uh, diesel set. They made the wind-ups in the seaboard like this one and they also made one in, in the Monon. This is a really nice kind of shape. And this set would have been around uh, 1954-1956 time frame. And the 
this is set 530, and this would have been right from Marx's dying days, right up in probably the late 60s through 73, 74 time frame. Uh, not a real uncommon set, except for the specific car names that you see here. Normally this set would be Santa Fe. This one is not, it's Penn Central. And not only is it Penn Central, but it's got a gray engine and tender. That's, that's pretty unusual to find the Penn Centrals in gray. Instead of a lever on top, this one's got it in the back of the cab. A little hard to get to. tender. We usually had what we'd call a coffin tender in the wind-ups. If you look closely when this one's going, you may see the sparker. The last one I had the sparker uh, removed. 